Punk. We had Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Well, there's this movie called, or a television series called Forever Night that's based on a movie that starred Rick Springfield, one of my favorite thespians. And it's about a police officer who is actually a vampire. So we sent our own brave soul, Janice Mackey, to check things out. Forever Night, the story of a cop whose bravery knows no boundaries. However, the boundaries are very real. You see, Nick Knight is really a vampire struggling to survive in the real world to atone his sins in the hope of one day becoming mortal once again. As a character, it was the most exciting thing because they told me what it was going to be was a vampire, but it was going to have a twist. It was going to be a morality play basically. So it was going to be this guy who wasn't just going to come out of the closet with big, uh, the, 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 the cape and the teeth and the eyes and the hair and everything else, and that it was going to be like fighting a drug addiction. And what it was going to be was uh, each program would have a flashback into a time where he developed over the course of 800 years, which as sort of a, a ham actor would be a great thing to do, you know, check on the 1228 garb and, and suddenly do lots of, you know, <laughs> acting. It was, uh, so I thought that would be that was sort of neat. And then to, you get to play the cop up front in the, in the modern day version. So I thought it was a, a sort of a fun idea. John Tapalos adds a comical twist to the show as Nick's partner, Don Skanky. You may recognize the actor from The Breakfast Club or Roxanne. He enjoys the creative freedom that Forever Night offers. Skanky. I'm a dead man. Thank you. Honest to God, Nick. I was only going to drive it to the station, but the hospital was on its way, and I, and I said, why not? This kills me. This kills me more than it kills you. The brakes failed. Absolutely. I was on that big hill on Dearborn Parkway, and I go to put on the brakes, and nothing, nada, niente. So I yank it over to the right, right, and, and, and try to jam it against the curb, but no, this baby just jumped right out of the sidewalk. So I yank it over left, and I almost hit this kid on the bike. Is that when you hit the fire hydrant? Creamed it. It's, uh place where I can I can improvise and sort of use a lot of my own personality elements and <clears throat> plus a lot of the skill that I uh, ach achieved attained acquired at Second City um, that's the one and Second City was an invaluable place and John Hughes taught me how to relax and uh, improvise and be um, wonderful and use myself within the characters that he had created so um, all those elements sort of lend itself to what we do here because what happens in television, as you may know, is that it's very fast, you know. And in episodic television, we have to be very fast and get it all sort of quickly as opposed to movies where you might shoot, you know, an eighth of a page in one week. <laughs> it's an exaggeration, kids. Nick Knight is a vampire with a conscience, a legend whose psychological side and moral dilemmas could relate to the dark side of us all. He entered the realm of immortality after being seduced by Jeanette, his voluptuous lover in Paris in 1228. And with his aversion to killing in his early vampire years, Nick Knight has resolved himself to fight the dark side, on the streets and within his soul. He told me to unlock the door. He told me to forget. So the moral of the story, if there is one to be learned, or that he yet feared, Never mess around with a possessed babe from the 13th century.